So Gizmo, the most beautiful puppy, is in my intro again, next to a log, because I look homeless. But yes, I'm gonna give another update on my chickens. The Americanos are getting big. My other chickens are big. Um, my one chicken's definitely a rooster and started curling. And we have a skunk temporarily. All right, so this is Porkchop the skunk, who um, we're actually not gonna keep, even though it is legal in our state. Um, he's going into a rehab place. Um, He's wild skunk, which is actually illegal, and um, his mother died, and our neighbor took him in, and then we were taking care of him. Um, we're actually going to take him up probably this weekend to the rescue rehab. I don't, I don't know the right term, lady, but he's super cuddly, he's friendly, and he's absolutely adorable and fat. He looks like a little ball. I don't know. He's sleepy. He might not come up. But he tends to wake up at random times. They're supposed to be nocturnal. He's definitely not nocturnal because he literally is up most of the day, honestly. And at night, he sleeps a lot. Well, he sleeps a lot, period. But see, look at his little pear-shaped body. He's so cute. Um, but um, from what I heard from people that have skunks and um, just people that are like in that loop, um... When they're at this age, what you're supposed to feed them is like goat's milk mixed with like a high quality dog food. So that's what we've been doing. And you're, when, the larger that they get, um, you start introducing vegetables and stuff like that. Because skunks, um, they don't do well with processed food. So you have to give them like fried, fresh stuff. Which is kind of weird because you would think that when they're babies, you wouldn't be able to give them dog food because it's so like processed and stuff. But I don't know. That is what I was told. And he loves the goat's milk, and as you can see, he's chomping away. That's his little kitty litter that he does use sometimes, and then other times he just makes a mess and throws the kitty litter everywhere. Um, I guess, like, the elephant in the room is whether or not we have been sprayed, and the answer is no, we have not been sprayed. He's super friendly, and he doesn't, he, well, I think he sprayed the one time. He must have got spooked by some kind of noise or something. Because there was definitely like fluid in here, like yellow fluid, or I don't know if it was pee. But no, we have not been sprayed. And I'm going to see if I can get a visual of his face. It's dark in here. Hi. Hi, buddy. I'm going to let him finish eating, and then I'm going to try and get a better look of his face. Right, so these are the extremely messy Americanas. As you can see, they're huge and they're about ready to go out. However, we want them to get a little bit bigger, so we don't want them to get, or we don't want them to be bullied by the huge behemoths we have outside. But they start flying and kind of landing on the edge of the container and stuff like that. But there are the pretty girls, hopefully girls. Hopefully not all boys. That's the very nosy toffee. And then Curly's in the back with the whiter face. Let's see. No. No. Okay. So yeah, they make a mess as always. They like to dig and rummage and every single time we come down, their water looks like this because they love digging up all the freaking um, shavings into their water. And it's weird because I never really see them eating out of their feeder. Instead, they like to knock the food out of the feeder onto the ground and then like peck at the ground for the food. That's them. In the corner. Hi, Misty boy. Probably wants to play. Hi. You done eating? Just really quickly, this book up. I'm gonna put him down so he's not uncomfortable, but see, adorable. Now, let's take a look at the big fat girls that are all running this way. Alright, so there is Pia, who is now a full, not full run, but a boy. 
so we call her Pio. Look how beautiful he is. He's nice, pretty calm, and his waddles. And then these are all the other girls. And if you notice, this one right here, her name's Alice. She doesn't really have a tail, so we thought she was getting picked on, so we checked to make sure there was like no blood or signs of her getting picked on, and she's fine. So, I don't know, I guess she's just rumpless. I didn't even know that that was a possibility. I know mixed Asians are, or not mixed Asians, Asian black chickens are mixed, but I don't know. All the other ones have tails. So yeah, they're looking for snacks. They're like, why are you here? Where's the snacks? You're so pretty. That's Luna. She's so cool looking. But they're getting pretty big. Still not laying any eggs yet. Hopefully soon. They sound like chickens now, not babies. But yeah. Alice? Yeah. Hey, are you pecking at me? Yep, I'm getting pecked at. Ow! That's my toe! Let's see if I can get a better... These three plants, for some reason, just were not having it, and I had to dig them up, and I'm hoping that they make a recovery, especially because, like, this one had a pepper, this one had tomatoes on it, so I'm like, really? Out of all the ones that want to die, it's the ones that have, are actually producing, but we'll see. I'm hoping they recover. How cute are you? Look at you with your little toy in your little bed. Hmm? Hmm, you're sleepy. So an update on the skunk. Just last, ooh, when was that? Friday? Saturday? No, it was Saturday. Saturday, we drove him up to northern New Jersey to a rehabber, and she took him in. It's now Mon- no, shit, it's Wednesday. And, um, so far, he's doing great. Um, the goal with him is to get- him to learn like wild skills so that he can be released and um it's a protected sanctuary like there's i think like 80 acres of protected land and it's all the way all the way in northern jersey like at the flat top right next to new york so yeah it took us three hours to get him up there but hopefully everything goes well with him and another update we actually brought the americanas outside because they're too big to be inside and they outgrew the tub um we have them in this cage to protect them mostly from this guy who's super interested and kind of evil look how pretty but yeah there they are i feel like the colors look completely different outside and I feel like I'm gonna get pecked. Are you pecking me? Okay. Chickens. Jumping on top of the cage. Luna, and then this one's Liz. There's the babies. Very pretty. And this girl's just staring me in the face. as always Mr. Giz with that beautiful face don't forget to like and subscribe and subscribe if I could talk what the hell I literally can't talk anyway bye